Here we're going to highlight a few of the special plant species that you might find in a peatland environment. Now, depending on where you are on the bog, it may be slightly drier or it may be slightly wetter, and that's going to have an impact on what you see. But generally speaking, there's lots of different species of sphagnum moss, and there's lots of different species of grasses, sedges, and reeds. You're also quite likely to find some heather, and there's more than one species of heather that you can find as well. But for now, just think of it as heather. This, unfortunately, is a sapling of Sitka spruce that has invaded our bogland and is going to have to be removed. So this can be a little bit of a problem because these trees grow very, very quickly. We've got some cranberries here. And here we've got a tiny, tiny little sundew. This is a type of carnivorous plant that is very rare and very special, and you find it in Scottish and Irish peatlands. You're also likely to find some fungi, not technically a plant, but I've popped it in with the plants because it isn't gonna run away when we try and look at it. Here's a close-up of those cranberry leaves just now. And there's another couple of those non-native Sitka spruces that we are gonna remove in the coming months. If there are native woodlands, probably alongside a peatland environment, it's a great place to spot lots of lichen. So again, not technically a plant. Um, it's a symbiosis of algae and fungi. This here is called dog skin lichen. Um, we've got some more cranberries. You can also find blaeberries or blueberries in a bogland. And they are perfectly safe to eat, um, but they are very teeny tiny. So it might take a while for you to make a good meal of them. If you do decide to visit one of these beautiful peatland sites, have a look online before you visit. Try to visit a reserve that has footpaths or boardwalks installed. That doesn't just keep us safe from falling into a pool. It also protects the plants and wildlife from us trampling on them. A lot of these ecosystems can be really quite fragile. And remember, take only pictures. So if there's plants that you want to identify, Get down on your belly on the boardwalk and take some photos. Bring the photos home and see if you can ID them. Never pick wild plants. <laughs>